On August 9, 2008, a forum organized by the Malaysian Bar Council titled Conversion to Islam, Article 1211A of the Federal Constitution, Subashini and Shamala revisited, was cut short by a group of angry Muslim NGOs. They gathered at the Bar Council building and ended a seemingly innocuous forum to discuss the plight of spouses facing divorce and annulment of marriage by the conversion of one party into Islam. So what brought about so much anger? Pertamanya kita memantah keras forum ini kerana forum ini mempertikaikan kedudukan mahkamah syariah yang telah diperuntukkan dengan jelas di dalam perlembagaan di bawah artikel 1211 A dan keputusan mahkamah persekutuan sendiri di dalam kes Azlina Jalal ini telah menyamatarafkan mahkamah syariah dengan mahkamah sivil dari segi bidang kuasa masing-masing. Ke cubaan majlis peguam hari ini untuk mengupas kes Subashini dan Syamala menunjukkan mereka tidak menghormati keputusan Mahkamah Persekutuan dan tidak menghormati langsung peruntukan Perlembagaan Persekutuan dan yang lebih parahnya ianya telah mengguris perasaan umat Islam If you look at it, what is Article 121? Article 121 basically um, states what is the jurisdiction of the civil courts and what is the jurisdiction of the Sharia courts and it says that if, this, if a matter is in the jurisdiction of the Sharia court, then the civil court does not have jurisdiction. That's all it is. And for many years, there was no problem with that. Yeah? So the next question is, what is the Sharia court's jurisdiction? That is also determined by the constitution in Schedule 9. There's a list which says that the Sharia court deals with these matters. So as long as the issue is within that list, then the civil courts have no jurisdiction and nobody is disputing that. I don't think the forum was disputing that. 1A says that the High Court shall have no jurisdiction in any matter within the jurisdiction of the Sharia Court. So the intention at that time was to um, just make sure that Muslims who had gone to the Sharia Court and were not happy with the Sharia court decision couldn't then hop over the fence as it were come to the civil court and take a second bite at the cherry now that was the reason why 1A was put in um, and that was fine on its words, um, on its plain meaning 1A is an is a innocuous provision however what happened in the late 90s is the courts started interpreting 1A in such a way that it sort of began to elevate the Sharia courts and until you came to a point where in some cases judges were saying the Sharia court and the civil court are equal uh, or that they are parallel court systems actually we only have one court system we have the Malaysia, you know, a judicial system the Sharia courts are a specialized court dealing with very specific matters and so if it was interpreted the way it was intended it would not cause any problem the problem is coming because people are trying to argue and the courts unfortunately in my view allowed them uh, uh, the, to say that the Sharia court was larger than what it was intended to be very recently the federal court has made a decision uh, called Latifa Madzin uh, in that case, they very clearly said the Sharia courts are courts of limited jurisdiction and you have to look to the state law that created the Sharia court to see whether they have a jurisdiction over any matter. And the federal court emphasized, um, and they have repeated this recently in another case um, of Haji Kaha, uh, the civil court is, is, is still, the high court is still the constitutional court, the court created by the constitution. And implicit in those decisions is it is um, superior, but I, I should explain that. It's superior in the lawyer's sense, in that we have 
one decision maker, which is the Civil High Court, which is for all Malaysians and is su subject to the federal constitution. Sharia court doesn't mean it's a, when we say inferior court in layman's terms, all it means is it is subject to oversight by the High Court. It doesn't mean the Sharia court is inferior in, in the normal English language sense. It's not a less perfect court. It still dispenses justice. It's still meant to, just the same way that magistrates court, uh, sessions courts or the industrial court. So in that way, the Sharia court is a court and it should be respected, its judgments respected. But what the federal court said is it must um, act within its boundaries, which are set by the Constitution.